All right, guys, back with another one today. The White Bowser seems to have landed. This one's going to be pretty interesting. Not anything too crazy. I think everybody's already heard about it. If you haven't, you know, and this is the first time you heard about it, well, now you know. So um, let's get into it. All right, so Bowser kind of got set up for a scam from some um, woman. And... William Gloryhole, like, thankfully, he, he was watching out for him and, and warned him, but kind of it kind of sent him down a dark path. And uh, he started talking about a whole bunch of touchy topics, and it, it was really bad. He um, started getting to that cartoon stuff, the uh, cartoon eroticism, and it was mostly uh, based on children. And uh, a whole bunch of people tried to tell him he was in the wrong. And a whole server of people tried to talk him off that hill. But he, he quote-unquote said, it's a hill he, I'm going to die on. So he's been schizo-posting now for two days about how he thinks he's in the right and there's nothing wrong with looking at cartoons that pray or that uh, portray young girls like some of these cartoons but look at this he's over here talking about how it's it's okay to eroticize a six month old and a six year old it was really bad um and he turned on marty and you know it is what it is but there goes the redemption arc for bowser he's over here trying to share different servers and websites that that have these uh disturbing cartoons in them like look at that that's clearly a cartoon of a child that's uh uh not appropriate for um a 30 year old man to be uh cranking them out to so as you can see though it's 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 just like no matter what people told him, no matter what was said, it just didn't help. But let's get to what his video was today. It might be interesting. I don't know. I haven't heard it yet, but we'll get to listen to it together. All right. So once again, my brain hurts, but Earl.exe has to uh, manually compute... Uh, brain power so i heard the whole video clip yeah monty doesn't want to talk to me or associate with me anymore that's perfectly fine um i mean i i i'm i'm, I'm not i'm still not understanding I, I am still not like it's not it's not the logic is entering my head Honestly, no. The logic is not the, the logic that the low cow community is trying to inject into my head is not registering. Well, I think we can we can break that down. The logic isn't registering because you, last night you you were claiming it was okay to sexualize uh, cartoons about children, and I don't know. Maybe we can take a look at has shown like real screenshots of me sending like sexual parts of my body to kids well i mean tony says tony says the same thing like he always says cyrax is the pedo because he was the one who sent his penis to what he thought was the kid. exactly that's disgusting like i i, I would never I, I would never send like pic pictures of my genitalia to kids that's fucking messed up so, like, if you just watch drawings of young girls with big tits and get excited boobs. by them. I like big boobs. Yeah. So oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You know, you know what, Monty? No, you're, you're absolutely right. We have we have reached the peak of the conversation. I okay. I am not allowed to, like the most massive of boobs if they are on a cartoon 16 year old yep i get it i mean you can't help what you like i guess 
I, 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 oh my gosh. Well, look, what? Well, 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 that, well, like, uh, whatever. What, 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 like, am I, am I am I going to have to die on the hill of liking fictional cartoons? If they have kids, and like you know, I would say that like that 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 does say something or own like it sucks, but uh, I, I mean, I mean, it's true. It's true. like all right. So then, then that means then that means that everyone that means that everyone that watches anime that is of kids will also have to die on the hill. And, and and that's not just me. That's like pretty much every single user who browses anime forums Early. on it. Yeah, as we can see, he really doesn't get the whole minor thing in cartoons. And he certainly doesn't understand that the cartoon community of a certain style is mostly people that fantasize about uh, really inappropriate things. Things that you, you shouldn't do in real life and you can't do in real life and things that are illegal or things that would get you ostracized by the community you live in. So let's get back to his dream. Head is not registering. It's not. Because, I mean, the low power community, I, I really don't get it. The low power community wants to treat fictional cartoons of children as factual real entities that should be protected and have humanitarian rights. So... So, are, how how can we uh, how can we grant something that doesn't exist a humanitarian right? I mean, I don't think that he gets it at all. You can't grant a cartoon humanitarian rights, but you can certainly ostracize what the the cartoon is portraying and how Bowser enjoys the cartoon. And I've never seen any of these cartoons. But from what happened last night and all the stuff that was going on in the chat, I got a pretty good idea what they're about. And they they are things that have been made by PDF files to express what they want to do. Those are the ones that he watches. And I, 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 uh, I'm kind of stunned that he can't pick up on the fact that it's not so much that he enjoys a cartoon. I mean... It, People watch Family Guy that they don't uh, go cranking one out to it, and and that that's I think that's the uh, the thing he just fails to understand, and he's literally just digging a deeper and deeper hole. Let's see what else he's got to say. Do we grant it? Do we grant it humanitarian protected rights because the thing that doesn't exist is depicted as a child? It still doesn't exist. It's still not of this earth. It is still not reality. A a cardboard cutout cartoon that you watch on your screen uh, is fiction. I, I I don't I don't walk into the real world touching grass and see cartoons walking around me. I'm not schizophrenic. I'm starting to question, like, why Why would the low cow community think 2D fictional cartoons are real? I, they, they, they don't. The, the low cow community doesn't think they're real. The general population does not think they're real. What it does, though, when you watch cartoons like that, it points to your your true inner inhibitions. It, it points to if you were given the chance, Bowser, that's what you would choose to do. If you if you had no fear of repercussions, that's what you would choose to do in real life. That's what those cartoons portray. 
it, it they're not like uh they're not appropriate and frankly i'm not sure why why they're even allowed to exist in the first place but uh let's get back to it do, do they think they're real and should be protected and should have humanitarian rights because of what they're depicting my perception of anime is that it's anime. It's a cartoon. The low cows community perception of anime is that it has children in it. I, I guess that's the point that that has been drawn. Like, no, it's, it's that you, you sexualize children in the cartoon. It's he, he just can't put the two things together. And I'm not trying to make fun of his uh, mental abilities or faculties or he keeps talking about how he's seeing he's seeing a shrink. You know, I'm not trying to go into that type of stuff. But the problem lies in the connection between the two. It's it, it's just creepy. And the way that he's gone about talking about it is even creepier. So it's it's like. The community's thoughts were verified when he reacted the way he did and he explained it the way that he did. It's not just that he watches these things. It's it's much deeper than that. And he's he even has stated that he would rather watch those cartoons than regular uh, adult films. So, yeah, it's a problem. Uh, it's really bad. I see the anime... And I see a fictional cartoon. Yeah, I see the anime and I see a 2D fictional cartoon. That's what my rational brain sees. The low-cow community sees anime and sees real children. Ah, that, that, that's, that's, that's the conclusion that my brain has ultimately, like, Computed uh, like like, like o over the past over the past 24 hours. That's the conclusion. My brain has ultimately computed Once again earl.exe is not working. It really isn't but that that's kind of why I've been schizo posting on my YouTube community tab because because earl.exe really isn't working I I I do not I, I do not understand how or why a fictional cartoon should be treated the same as a real child based on what it depicts. I mean, so would that would that mean that would that mean that uh, you, you would have? You, I, I've discussed this with, like, my psychiatrist, too. Like, I've discussed this with my behavioral therapist. You can't grant a 2D fictional cartoon humanitarian rights. It doesn't... It does not matter what the cartoon depicts. You can't grant a 2D fictional cartoon humanitarian rights. It doesn't matter if the 2D fictional cartoon does depict a, a bunch of 15-year-olds. It's a 2D fictional cartoon. You legally can't grant it humanitarian rights. I think that's just... If if a doctor told him that, that's just some coping mechanism. And the doctor knows that it, it could be a, a, a coping mechanism to avoid doing the real thing. That That's the only thing I can think of that would justify that conversation even happening no it's not normal to be watching cartoons like that and no it's not normal uh for adults to think about children in that manner nothing's normal about that nothing's okay about it it's just sickening because it's a fictional cartoon because it's 2d it's not 2d fictional cartoons don't walk amongst us and aren't in the real world that's rational logic isn't it I mean, I don't I don't remember the last time I saw a 
2D fictional cartoon of a 16-year-old girl with massive boobs walking around in the grocery store. I don't remember the last time I, I saw... I don't remember the last time I saw an anime girl walking around in real life. When when the day comes, I see anime girls walking around in the real world, then we can get to the point where where I will treat them as, you know, real people that should uh that should be treated as that that should be treated and as and protected as real children, okay? You know, and that that's just sickening because there are those conventions that people go to that dress up like the people in those cartoons. And if he went to one of those, you would definitely, you know, if you had if you were a parent and that was one of your children and there's Bowser going by and now all of a sudden he sees his cartoon come to life, you'd have to worry about it. Well, let's skip forward in this video. Let's see if he says anything else interesting. You know, I, I I might as well I might as well ask a real lawyer. I might as well ask a real lawyer. Can I be sued for masturbating to a cartoon? You know, I asked my psychiatrist the same question. You want to know what he said? Earl, no judge in the history of the United States will punish you for masturbating to a cartoon. It's a cartoon. So you want you want to know why a judge won't punish me for masturbating to a cartoon? Because a judge is able to understand the difference between a 2D cartoon on your computer screen and a real child in real life. Right there. I hit the nail on the head for I hit the nail on the head for the entire local community. A real yeah, he's missing the entire point. It's the concept behind it. The, the fact that it's a cartoon doesn't dismiss the fact that the attraction for someone of a certain age exists. Let's keep going, though. I really don't get it. Brain is not computing. I, 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 I'm, per, I'm personally intrigued. I'm personally intrigued. If if we if we are no longer gonna label me, if we are no longer gonna label me as a villain for all the past mistakes I made, but now we're gonna label me as a villain based on all the two D fictional cartoons I like, then how is that going to escalate? into season four of the Bowserverse. How is it going to escalate into season four of the Bowserverse? I mean, I think the best thing Bowser could do is just delete all this stuff about cartoons, delete the community posts, and try to move on in whatever way. Uh, but that's pretty much it for this video. It's, you know, more or less, a lot more of the same thing. There's one more thing I want to show you guys and we'll close out with. And welcome to the Factor Uncensored. Don't we find them? We find these topics for you that will blow your mind. Now, the LGBTQ community is saying hell to the nasty no as much as inclusivity as they have embraced and expanded over the years. They will never, they say they will never accept pedophilia. Adults who want to have or are attracted to children. This comes after a group known as MAPS. MAPS is looking for a home there. They want to add their letters, MAPS, M-A-P-S, to LGBTQ. MAPS stands for Minor Attracted People. Minor Attracted Adults Attracted to Children. Yeah, and that, that that's what I'm getting at. Uh, Bowser doesn't understand. The entire principle is hated by all walks of life, everywhere. And I said there was only be one more thing to close this out, but I think it's also an import, important to show you what this guy is talking about. Well, that's quite a question to ask. 
As a psychologist, uh, having worked directly with sex offenders previously and now working for the Dutch National Police Child Exploitation Unit, I can simply tell you this. Unfortunately, we will never be able to eliminate every possible risk out there. However, there are definitely ways of making the world of the internet a safer place for our children. And the criminal justice system is one solution, but if we want to do more, I need the help of all of you. And that's where I want to leave it, guys. If you see, a, you know, something creepy going on, you should stop and say something about it. You shouldn't just let it continue. And I'm not sure where Bowser gets these beliefs, but there's nothing appropriate about it. And what he's doing leads to other things. Or it, it points that other things are much more likely to happen. And that, that's the issue. So I'm going to leave you guys on this one. If you support the channel, I appreciate it. If you're new or you find yourself watching these on a regular basis, hit the subscribe button down below. I appreciate you guys. Have a good one.